Finally made it to Grenada. Cleaned up my face. Don't look like a salty sailor anymore. We're gonna head into town and get some grocery shopping done, probably have some lunch, and then get ready to head over to Paradise Beach Club so we can finish painting our name on a plaque so that they can hang it up on the wall and we can be officially in the Grenada Cruisers Club, or whatever you wanna call it. Forever in Karyaku. Out, then we gotta go to the store, grab some water, drinking. Water around here is not potable. No. Butterfly! So we can shower and do dishes. And stuff. Sorry, babe. Hold on. We just have to get gallons of drinking water. Not too worried about it though. I mean, it's the water around here is rainwater. Yeah, we we'll just, just clean out our tanks when we fill it up next time. Exactly. Being that it's rainwater, it's probably safe. We just we don't know the catchment system that they use and if it's clean and if they filter any of the rainwater that they catch. Water at this boatyard is definitely not potable. Yes, we've heard that the, these are so goofy. I have officially lost or broken all of my normal sunglasses. So we are down to that free pair you get from staying at a hotel. <laughs> but it's bright out. We have heard that the water at this marina is not potable. So, so I don't know about the other ones. So we don't know about the other ones. Um, better safe than sorry. So we will not be drinking it. That being said, this here is why the decks of our boat have mud and dirt all over them. Because we often are walking through a boat yard to get places. But today it hasn't rained. It didn't rain last night either. So. That made for a really nice sleep because we weren't woken up having to like play the game where you open close, open close the hatches. So it's not super muddy on the boat today, <laughs> which is nice. Um, very dry over here, except for puddles. boat in time to change and get picked up by our water taxi. There it is. My girl Sandra using an umbrella for the sun. 
I guess I could take my shoulder Because she's adorable. You could take your hat off, but you know what? That protects your face as yes, well. It does, it does. And she gave me this from her dental days. So that I'm going to paint details with this little guy. Isn't that smart? We're going to wait. What are we waiting for? Black paint. In pen this morning after our coffee, I outlined so that when I, I cheated is what I did. <laughs> our plaque yeah. looks pretty good we're happy with it hopefully it goes somewhere good um, with whatever a couple of people commented about how nice the font looks and um, I wanted the font to look like the font on the back of our boat so it worked and it looks really good so we're excited about it hopefully it makes it in a good spot ready to go swimming yes me too so uh a bite to eat and incredible live music, I mean, I felt like we were watching auditions from The Voice. With old and new friends, we called it a night. 9 p.m. is Cruiser's Midnight, if you didn't already know this. So far, all is good in Karyaku. My aunt made me this mug. Cute. Hair in my eye. Oh. We're having one of those mornings where we are talking about all the things that we would have on the boat, in a perfect world would have on the boat, and one of those things this morning is beanbag chairs, for sure. I mean, wouldn't that be nice? I mean, I'm sure some of you know that it is nice. We'd have nowhere to put them right now. But we can dream. Sometimes it's fun to just think about the things that you want or strive for, or, you know? I like to fantasize. It's like those moments where you like fantasize a little bit about like if you won the lottery, <laughs> what would you do? And it kind of like gets you through a passage. That's when I do things like that. <laughs> I'm totally rambling. What would you do if you won the lottery? Would you get beanbag chairs for your boat? Would you get a boat? Would you get a boat? but I'm being silly and I'm really hot and sweaty. This man is always in and out, in and out of this hatch, taking care of something for us. Squeaky ass halyard. Squeaky ass halyard is what's happening right now. That being said, it probably means I should be going up the mast to check on this situation, but mm, I don't know about that right now. It's very rocky and rolly and I'm kind of new to that. I've only gone up once and it wasn't all the way to the top. It was up to the spreader. So probably gonna wait till we get somewhere a little more stable and I try to go see what's up up there. Okay. Whoa, I gotta show you guys. Look at all of these bites. But the reason why this is so crazy to me is because last night- I got attacked and they bit me through my shirt which is awful. There were so many of them. We tried our best to get rid of them. It's a Grenada welcoming, I guess. Anywho. Well, we've made it to Grenada. We are officially here out of the hurricane zone so we can relax just a little bit. Um, by relax, I mean, we don't need to go running from spot to spot every day or every few days. Um, we can actually relax here for a little bit. So we're excited about that. We have a lot of boat work to get done while we're here and some exploring to do, so it's going to be really exciting. Mm -hmm. We are ready to get some projects underway and some sights seen. Yeah. 
It's gonna be fun. So like, subscribe, comment down below, please. We love your support. And we'll see you in the next video.